Welcome back to my channel. So, for today, we are doing something different. I know you guys are like, oh my god, Nicole, really? We just saw you make coasters out of these rub-on transfers not too long ago. It's not going to be coasters today, I promise. This is about, let's break out from what the mold is telling us it is, and let's get creative and do something different with it. So, yes, they are coaster molds. Yes, they are the rub-on transfers, but this is not going to be your typical video. Okay, so the first thing I did was I got some of my Let's Resin Epoxy mixed up. I am adding some HTV Raunt white mica powder to it, and we are going to have a little bit of fun with the colors. Now, I am also adding a little bit of Let's Resin Interference Gold in there, and that's just to kind of, like, I'm not trying to change the color super like crazy right here. I just want to give it a little bit of that gold kind of hue that you get off of it with interference powders. And we're also going to play around with some alcohol inks. Now, if you saw that video that I was just talking about, I did something very similar to this where I added some alcohol ink in it and then I poured in my already colored resin. We're going to do that, but we're going to take it even farther than what we did last time and play around with our colors just a little bit more. Now, I want these to be predominantly white, but I also want to have some really beautiful colors in there. So I took four drops of each of my alcohol inks and I'm using emerald green, orange, and golden. And I dropped four drops in each coaster mold, right? Right before I poured my resin. Poured my resin in, and now I've got color in some of it. It's not going to be everywhere, but we're not going to just stop here. I was, initially. I, this is where I planned on going. And then after I had done this segment here, and I've got, you know, I went around all the 90 degree edges to make sure there was no bubbles trapped. I did it with my heat gun, kind of fanned out and got those colors just to move a little bit more and just kind of feather out some so they weren't such hard lines like they are right now. And after I had shut off my camera, I had done something. Oh, I, I think I found something in one of the one of the molds, it's just a piece of debris that needed to come out. But I didn't realize that I had another color on my dotting tool that I hadn't wiped off. So when I put it in there, I got a little bit of another color in the mold and I thought, oh my God, I really like this. So I shut off the camera and I turned it right back on. I'm like, I got to do this. So what we're going to do is we are going to add just a tiny bit of each one of the colors to the opposite. So like right now, I just put some green alcohol ink into this little cup and I'm getting on my dotting tool and I'm just kind of making lines go through. Now I did realize as I was doing this that it was a little bit easier to get the color to kind of be more saturated if I had a little bit of resin on my actual dotting tool as opposed to just trying to pick up the ink and go with it. I was getting much bolder lines, which is kind of what I wanted. Like, I don't want too much. I don't want to overdo it, but I want each one of the colors to have all of the colors, if that makes sense. Now, the orange, I don't know what happened. <laughs> the orange got way too much in it. The green, not nearly enough. So I just, instead of putting more alcohol ink in a cup and doing with the orange, I was just kind of picking some of the color up out of that mold and moving it along. But I'm just, like, there's not necessarily any rhyme or reason. I'm just putting these lines on. The resin's going to pull it in and it's going to move on its own. And I want it to be more or, kind of organic in however it decides to to disperse the colors, that's what I want, but I just want a little bit of those colors in there. So I've never seen anyone doing it like this. I'm not saying that they haven't at all. I'm not like I'm the first one to come up with this or anything like that, like absolutely not, but I've not necessarily seen it before either. And I thought that this is kind of a really neat way to go about getting some extra colors in without 
mixing up resin to kind of get them in there, if that makes sense. And we're just kind of just throwing the colors in. Now, granted, because the orange is so dark, getting that kind of golden yellow color in there, it, I don't know how well it's going to show up. I don't know if the orange is just going to completely overtake everything. We're not going to know that until we wait and see how they cured. All right, so 24 hours later, here they are. Now, I've already mixed up some Tea Expert, and this is their tabletop coating resin, just for my clear coat on here. I've got my stickers already picked out where I kind of want them to go and which, you know, with what color I want them to go with so that it best brings out the kind of colors that are involved in it and it doesn't fade away too much, you know? Like if I had to put this kind of orangey looking truck in the orange, it just wouldn't look very good. So I want my colors to pop as much as possible, which is why I took the time to make sure that I didn't just throw them in any particular one. I you know what I mean. It, it, it's, it's fine. It'll be fine. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is I am just going to put these on. I'm going to mix a little bit of my Rolio Pearl White for that super sparkle, just a little bit in there, just to give it a little bit of shimmer on that and some added, you know, beautifulness. And then we're going to pour on the tea expert resin and let that cure. Now, I'm not necessarily worried about filling these coasters up 100%. I, I just need a top coat. I need to seal these stickers in. They're not going to really be coasters like that. Like I said, we're doing something different with them today. So I don't need the thickness that I would need if I was going to make coasters. All right, so I just added in just the tiniest bit of that Rolio Pearl White mixing it in and now we are going to start pouring the top coat on these to seal these rub on transfers in and that's it we're gonna let this do its thing let it cure nicely i am going because this is a top coating resin right so it is super super thick so i will hit it with my heat gun really really well to make sure that any bubbles that are in there pop I am going to go around those 90 degree corners and edges and all of that just to make sure that there are no stuck bubbles in those areas because we all know how much they love to sit there. They think it's their home and they are not welcome here today. So anyway, I'm going to do this and then we're going to start getting the rest of this project going. And I am, like you can see, I am going, this is sped up a little bit. I am going really slow and I am really getting that heat in there and really thinning this out and making it hot. Now you do need to be careful. Obviously you don't want to burn your resin or anything like that, but I am making sure that it is heating it up enough that it's heating it up all the way down, if that makes sense. And we're just going to kind of top these off a little bit more just to make sure that it's at least a decent amount on there. And I'm not doming it. It's just really not even just up to the, the, the almost like the bottom of the top of the mold, if that makes sense, just to make sure that I'm not going to have hard, like sharp edges that I'm going to have to cut off either because I don't want to do that. All right. So now we've got this wooden blank and I think this is ten, uh, 12 inches in diameter. And I really kind of like this olive green for it. I think it's more of kind of your folly type green so I'm just going to go over this real quick there's a pumpkin that I'm gonna paint I'm gonna do this I'll be back when we're ready for the next step and we can start assembling this thing leaves are turning golden red crisp chill in the air ahead family gathered all around thankful for this love we found Porch they lay, misty mornings greet the day. Sweaters on and hands held tight, grateful for this autumn night. Together we are strong and free in the shade of that old oak tree. Laughing till the stars align, thankful hearts in autumn's time. Cider warm and sweet, 
crunching leaves beneath our feet Stories shared by fireside light These memories make the season bright As the seasons change their face In our hearts we find our place Blessings come and blessings go Alright, I'm back. So I just did a very basic paint job on the pumpkin because I'm not 100% sure at this point if I'm even going to use it. All right, so here are our not coaster coasters and they turned out beautifully. I love the kind of, it almost has like a sunburst type pop of color in the middle, just the way it all pulled in. I'm really glad that the orange didn't overtake everything like I kind of feared it would. Would have liked to have a little bit more green, but I think it's fine. I do you like how it's concentrated kind of in that middle? I, I like it overall. So now it's time to start fiddling around with this, get it all together. And I, I decided for this one, usually I kind of like cut out all the my thinking and brainstorming parts, but some of you may want to see that. I mean, you may not, and if you don't, let me know uh, and I won't include it anymore, but some of you might. Like there's a process to it and I'm sure everyone has their own process, but maybe you, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I left it in here to an extent. You can see how much I kind of change and, and fiddle with it. But anyway, I am going to kind of just let you watch the creative process happen as my brain works out exactly what I want this thing to be. I will be back when we're done and doing the final steps. All right, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Each breath I take for family and friends so dear. I'm thankful for love so clear. Health is gold and strong and free. Grateful for this life in me. We laugh, we dance under the sun. Thankful for each day begun. Health is gold and strong and free. Grateful for this life in me We laugh, we dance under the sun Thankful for each day begun Gratitude, it fills my heart From the very start All these blessings ringing true I give my thanks to you Joyful moments shared with glee Thankful for this unity In this world of ups and downs Love is where true joy is found Oh, raise a glass to what we've got Every lesson that we've been taught Through the storms and sunlight rays Thankful for these endless days Gratitude, it fills my heart From the very start these blessings ringing true I give my thanks to you Joyful moments shared with glee Thankful for this unity In this world of ups and downs Love is where true joy is found Oh, raise a glass to what we've got Every lesson that we've been taught Through the storms and sunlight rays Thankful for these endless days I do, it fills my heart from the very start All these blessings ringing true I give my thanks to you I give my thanks to you are falling all around colors covering the ground jumping in a pumpkin patch smiles wide and hearts attach sweaters cozy crisp and bright he rides in the chilly night sipping cider holding hands dancing in the golden winds on a final can't you see laughing under Bonfires 
lighting up the sky Moonlit nights go running by Crunching leaves beneath our feet Magic moments oh so sweet Twilight falls, the stars appear Whisper secrets in your ear Nature show a sight to see Lost in autumn's melody Autumn fun, oh can't you see Laughing under maple tree Pumpkin patches fall to light Hearts are warm, the world feels right have to tell me my bow making ability is just complete and utter garbage I know this I tried really hard I did it took me a while to even make it look that decent but you know we we all have our our ups and downs and things that we can do and things we can't making bows is on that list of things I can't do very well okay so I just got this gold twine I thought would look pretty because we have some gold in it and we're gonna use that to do to hang it with. Now, ideally, you probably want to use something a little bit thicker than what this is, because even doubled up, I'm worried that it's too heavy for the actual thing. So I'm probably gonna go and replace it when I find what I was looking for, which of course eluded me today. But that's pretty much it. That is a wrap on this one, guys. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I will catch you guys on Saturday in the next one. Love ya. Bye. Is strong. Together we belong. In every common right. You lift me to new heights. Your support, it's clear. Gives me reason to cheer.